Hey folks, so it's Wayne here. Um, I'm gonna look over here because that's where the camera is. So um, it's Wayne here. It's, uh, it's a hot Saturday. Today is the day of my stepson and his fiance's wedding. Um, and I had a little bit of time before I needed to be at the wedding to do a modification to my Husky um, 572 XP. Today I got a full wrap handle kit for it and I'm gonna put that on right now. And I thought I'd go ahead and record it um, just because it's something to record, right? Some of you might be wondering how to do it. It's really not rocket science uh, because I am not a rocket scientist. So uh, if I can do it, any of you can do it. Um, so let's get recording, okay? All right, here we go. So the kit comes with, um, well, where's it at? Right here it is. It comes with the full wrap handle, as you see here. This is the handle. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. It also comes with a new uh, chain guard plate, and I'll explain the reason for that in a second. It comes with two new, more aggressive dogs and associated hardware there. It also comes with some other hardware for uh, the shock mounting of the handle, but I found that my saw is so new, I'm not gonna replace any of this. I'm just gonna reuse what's already on the saw. Same thing for this um, hardware here. But I will be adding, replacing the existing dog on my 572 with these and replacing this chain guard here. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is going to go ahead and remove the chain and bar. Now these particular nuts are captive. They're held captive to this chain guard here. I'm gonna take that off, set it aside. All right, and then I'm going to slide the bar back that direction. Be careful when you handle this chain. I'm gonna to try to keep this all intact by just hanging it upside down like this. All right, so next step, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this dog. This is a number 27, I believe, a T27. For the purpose of this video, I've already loosened this hardware, so in case you're wondering. Now, um, this dog has this part attached to it as well. There are replacements. Uh, you don't have to reuse this. There are replacements that come with the kit, so we're going to just set this aside. All right, folks, I've got to interject something here. Um, I'm reviewing this video, and I realized when I was disassembling this power saw, taking that original dog off, that the chain catcher, which I was try having trouble trying to figure out what it was because it was mounted on the wrong side of the dog, right out of the box. I mean, this is a brand new saw. Kind of interesting. Um, so that's why it wasn't really too intuitive to me that that was a chain catcher. It, it, it was assembled wrong at the factory. So, uh, so throughout this video, you're going to see that that chain catcher is on the wrong side. I installed it the same way on the newer dogs, not even thinking about what the function of that piece was. So uh, when I'm done with the video, when I'm done posting this, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse that so that it works as it should as a chain catcher. Um, interesting, isn't it? Gotta watch stuff. We can reuse the mounting screws, but I'm not gonna put the new dogs on just yet. Okay, so the next step will be to loosen the handle. On, the, on this particular handle, there are two screws in the bottom. I will set those aside. I'm going to reuse those because this is pretty new. There are also one, two, three screws here on the side. Okay, save these screws. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that there is a extra shock mount that comes with the kit. You won't be needing that unless you have to replace it for some reason. We'll just leave this one here, all right? So at this point, with the handle loose, I am just going to break it away. Just peel it off the saw, just like that. It comes right off of it. Okay, we're ready to install the new handle. This is the wraparound handle. 
So I'm going to do the same thing here. This handle goes this way. This um, this piece of hardware comes already attached to the handle, so it will go into this hole that you see right here. And it's a pretty big hole to hit. All right. So we're going to wrap it around like that. We're going to get this into that hole. We're going to go ahead and start putting some hardware. Now this particular side takes the longer of these screws. Okay, so we're going to use these longer screws. I'm going to go ahead and put the top one in just, just slightly snug. Just like that. Okay, then I'm going to roll it over on the side. I'm going to use these two shorter screws to mount the bottom. These I'm going to go ahead and just tighten right up. Now, if you don't have a Torx 27, a T27, this hand or this uh, driver that comes with the saw can be used. There's a T27 right here on this end. All right, and then I'm going to need a third screw now because if they're adding this other return here. So this third screw will line up right here. This screw comes with the kit. Okay. So these are good and tight. I'll come back over here. I'm going to finish. Whoops, I lost my bit. Come over here and finish tightening these side screws. Good, all right. Now it's time for the dogs. Okay, so there are two holes here that will pick up this larger dog. You can see the difference here between the two. See that? Big difference, so I'm putting these dogs on. Put these in. Tighten them down. Okay, and I'm also gonna use the new, this new piece. I don't really know what this is called, technically. I don't know what it is called, but uh, the way it goes is this, um, this flange goes up against the bottom here, okay? This piece goes into there like that. This piece goes up to here like that. The bolt goes up through the center, and I think that's the wrong one. Yes, it is. This longer bolt here that comes with the kit. That pokes through there. Then we have self, uh, this is a self-locking nut that comes with the kit that will go on the top. Top side. And this, I believe, is a number eight on the top. I should say a metric eight. There we go. Now, just to make sure it's snug, I'm gonna use this Allen. There we go, nice and tight. This piece is free to rotate, as you can see. It just, it just rotates here, okay? Now, we're left with the final step, and that is to um, replace the bar. Let's get that to happen. We'll put the bar on like that. The kit that comes with this new um, chain guard on here and chain adjuster is included. So the other thing I want to do with this, I'm going to go ahead and back this adjustment screw out. Uh, I want to back it so that this chain tensioner moves back into this direction here. So I'm loosening this, turning it counterclockwise, and that's going to move this back. That's just to allow me to have plenty of adjustability when I'm installing this on the bar. So I'm going to slide this in here like that. Line this up with the two holes. Now, the reason that they have this modified 
guard, as you can see, this little portion right here is deeper than this one because we're gonna be putting this dog right there like that. If we tried to put it on this piece, we would not have enough screw thread protruding. So this is where the dog goes. Now we can go ahead and put our flange nuts on like that. Now you don't want to tighten this yet because we're going to adjust the chain tension. Okay, so let's get that tension going. All right, so let's do that. Tighten. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Tighten these down. And by the way, this is a 13 millimeter socket I'm using here. You could use your scrunch that comes with the saw. All right, so folks, that pretty much completes it. We now have, let me turn this camera this way. So we now have a, a full wrap handle, as you can see here. Two nice sized dogs on either side of the bar. We are ready to rock and roll. Get you some. Hey, hey you guys, really seriously, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate your attention on this. You know what, um, if uh, you like what you saw, please like the video and um, leave a comment. I want to answer comments, I wanna to get to know you. Um, I, I get to know a lot of my subscribers, many of them, almost every one of them I reply. Uh, to those comments. Um, so obviously I don't have very many subscribers, but otherwise it would be like a full-time job just replying. But I do wanna reach out to people and get to know you a little bit. So thank you for watching this video. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. There's a bell there. If you hit the bell, the bell will give you notifications every time I post a new video. So I gotta go get ready for a wedding, guys. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Be kind, love one another. Let's change the world together. Let's do it through love, through kindness, and not just words, but deeds. Yeah, okay, see ya.